Hi guys, in this video, we will start coding. First, we'll have to create a new project. I'm using IntelliJ, so if you want to use the same IDE, you can watch my previous videos and have the link for downloading. Okay, so let's start. In order to create the new project, we can click File and then New Project and then click Create Project from the template. And that's what we get. So let's start go over each line. For the first line, we'll have the package. So package is a group of similar types of classes, interfaces, or sub package. So it can be used to organize our Java project. It is really useful later on if we can import the packages. For example, we can import the math package to use some methods from that. But for now, let's treat it as a folder containing our files. For the next line, we see there's a public class min. As we mentioned in the previous video, Java is class-based. So here, we write our code in the class between the two curly brackets. And now the public, the public is a keyword, means that all other files can have the access to this class. Compared to the keyword private, that means we can only access it locally. So then the class is also a keyword. That means we're creating a class. And the min, the min is not a keyword. That means we could change it to any other name we want. But here, we want to have it min because we want to show that this is our main class. If we create any other classes, we could name those classes to the name as the file name. For the next line, we'll have public, static, void, main, and the string arcs. So the entire thing here, this is a method. Sometimes I like to call it a function. So we will talk more about the functions later when we are writing our own functions or the methods. For now, let's just take a look on the syntax here. The public is exactly the same as the public here. For the static, that means we don't bound it to any object, but also it does not have the access to any of the instance variables in the class. So we will learn more about it later when we're writing our own classes. So do not worry too much. Just remember we have a public static void min. And for the void, this is also a keyword. That means this method will not return anything. And please, please do not change the mean here. So this is different from the mean there. Each project we have in Java must to have a mean method. So when we, when we run our project, we, it will start looking for the mean method and it will run from there. So we must have the mean method in our project. And for now, let's not worry about this part. So when we're writing our method, you can just copy exactly the same thing right here. So for now, we will write our code in the main method right there. So later on, we can write our own method or even our own classes. But for now, let's consider we write our code right here. For the next video, we will learn the data types and the eight primitive data types. But before we do that, let's learn some useful tools and run our first program. So one thing is if you want to make some comment that just for our notes, we can write this syntax and type anything we want after that. So the compiler won't execute this line. So we can write it comment here. If we have multiple line of comments, 
we can do something like this and then we can write between there and everything between these two symbols won't be executed okay let's actually do some coding so if we want to print something out we can do the following so we can type system dot out dot print line and followed by the parentheses and a semicolon so make sure we have the semicolon in the end to indicate this line is finished so right here between the two parentheses we have to add the two quotation marks and between the two quotation marks we can write down anything we want to print let's say hello so this line shows that we're going to print the word hello so how do we execute this project we can either click this one or click here and run min after we click it we can see the hello is printed and yes yeah, that's our first simple project so here we, if we don't want to type system.out.println every time for the IntelliJ there's a shortcut we can simply type SOUT and press enter it will automatically convert to the system.out.println and here the print line means the hello will take all the space in one line so if we have something here hello again we will see that these two hellos are in two separate lines because the print line a line here means finish this line and if we don't want to print them in the two separate lines we can change it to print that means hello will be printed but the line will not be over and if we do that we can see hello hello they're both in the same line and the print line here means after this hello the line will be ended so here it's our simple problem for you to try so I want you to print the following for the first line I want you to print hello Java and on the second line I want you to print how are you and I want you to use both print and print line so you can stop the video here and try it on your own after you finish it you can start the video again you can continue the video again to see my solution and please know that my solution will not be the only solution you can have you can have something different than mine and still work and now let's stop the video okay so here's how I do it so first you can create the print and we have hello comma space and then we can have Java here so that will be the first line and we can check it see hello Java and since this is print line the new line will start and then for the next line we can have how are you oh if that indicates we must have the quotation marks between them so if we want to print some text we must have the quotation marks and now if we run it again we have hello Java how are you and note that these two hellos are from the previous example if we don't want to show them we can also add the common sign before it indicate don't run this part and when we run it again we will have hello Java how are you 
Okay, so for the next video, we will talk about the eight primitive types in Java.